infrastructure is a key component of the Big Four agenda that the Kenyan government is undertaking. This encompasses broadly on development of its national trunk roads network that connects with all its neighboring countries. Among the important main road arteries that have been identified for construction is the A1 road corridor from Leseru in Transoia County through Kitale, Kapenguria, Marriage Pass, Kainuk, Lokichar, Lodwe and onwards to Nakodok at the border of Kenya and South Sudan. The trade between us and the Southern Sudan has not been quite good and the reason has been that the link between us uh, has not been there and therefore this one is going to not only going to increase trade but also increase the integration between Kenya and Southern Sudan. Currently, the Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenha, through funding from Government of Kenya and the World Bank, embarked on the construction of the 338 kilometers highway from Lodwe to Nakodok at a cost of 32.7 billion shillings. The project is expected to take three years and is part of the Biharamulo, Mwanza, Mosoma, Sirari, Isibanya, Kitale, Lodwe, Lokichogyo, Nakodok, Juba Transport Corridor of the East African Community Regional Trunk Road Network. This uh, road corridor is part of East Africa Region Transport, Trade and Development Facility Project. As you are aware, we are part of the East Africa Community, comprising of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan. And because we are forming an economic block, it is necessary that we do the road infrastructure network. The project is being implemented in five lots, namely the 40-kilometer road section from Loichangamatak to Lodwe, the 80-kilometer road section Lodwe to Lokitang Junction, the 80-kilometer road section Lokitang Junction to Kalobeye River, the 88-kilometer road section Kalobeye River to Nakodok border between Kenya and South Sudan. The Kenya National Highways Authority embarked on the emergency maintenance works on the Eldoret, Kitale, Lokichar, Amosing section of the Sudan Link Road in support of the early oil pilot scheme following the discovery and successful drilling of oil in the Amosing Basin in Turkana County. We have been improving the section between Laseru to Lokicha. And besides actually by doing up to Lokicha, we have taken the road all the way to the oil fields. So you can now be able to get uh, to the oil fields, collect oil, and evacuate it all the way uh, to Mombasa. The biggest bottleneck was the Kainuk Bridge. As of now, as we are constructing the, the, the bridge, we have put a uh, daily bridge, permanent to actually take care of any traffic that is supposed to pass through there. For ease of implementation, Kenha has awarded the road works to seven maintenance contractors through the following road sections. The 60-kilometer road section between Leseru and Kitale, the 64-kilometer road section between Kitale and Morpus, the 32-kilometer road section between Morpus and Marich Pass, the 40-kilometer road section between Marich Pass and Kainuk, the 36-kilometer road section between Kainuk and Kailulungo, the 33-kilometer road section between Kailulungo and Lokichar, and the 30-kilometer road section between Lokichar and Amosing. The government of Kenya through Kenha has identified as a priority area the connection of Turkana region with the Kenyan coastline. Towards this effort, Kenha is fast-tracking implementation of the Lamu Garsen Road project, which is approximately 673 kilometers under the public-private partnership financing agreement and the 389-kilometer road section connecting Isiolonginyang Lokori Lokichar Road. Once these initiatives are achieved, Kenha will have effectively placed the Turkana region as a strategic player within the East and Central African region trade networks. When completed, it opened that area. As you are aware, there are a lot of natural resources in that region, including oil, including minerals, including fish in the lakes. And this will be the economic empowerment that the region will benefit. 
through this corridor. The current road project that is being undertaken by the Government of Kenya and the World Bank will connect Lokichar to Nakodok and is expected to greatly boost regional integration as well as facilitate trade opportunities within the East and Central African countries. The road is also expected to open up the vast economic opportunities within Turkana, West Pokot and Transuia counties by facilitating trade between the three counties and other regions in Kenya. Road infrastructure is, is very critical in the implementation of the B4 agenda for the president and we regard ourselves as the main enabler of the implementation of the B4 and we are, we are working very hard to facilitate that implementation of that agenda by making sure that all our uh, national trunk roads are completed on time and at cost. We anticipate to move our meat products on a road that is quick and fast and smooth to all the way to Mombasa for export, or all the way to GKI for export. For many years, motorists have encountered great difficulties driving along the road due to its poor state. During the rainy seasons, motorists encounter great difficulties in navigating through the region due to sudden flash floods that they encounter perennially at the numerous drifts and water crossing points. What we have done now is to put permanent bridges so that at any one time, uh, vehicles can be able to pass and what it means is then is that um, we have designed for 100 year return period of what of, um, of lane for meaning that we don't expect possibly in our time uh, to see any overtopping of the structure that we have put. Kainuk Bridge is an important link along this road but the bridge has over the years been battered by vagaries of weather and time and its condition has today rapidly deteriorated, making it completely unable to allow passage of heavy commercial vehicles. This is causing untold pain and misery to residents, traders and travelers who are forced to wait on the riverbanks for days and sometimes even weeks for the floods to subside before crossing the bridge. Kenha has however constructed a drift for use by heavy commercial vehicles but heavy flash floods from northern Uganda and South Sudan often angrily sweep off the mightiest of the trucks. Together with the modernization of the Kitale Nakodok Road Corridor, Kenha is in the process of building a permanent bridge at Kainuk and the construction is at an advanced level. When it is raining and flooding, that bridge becomes impassable. And you can imagine it cuts off the northern part of the country from the rest of the country. So they can't access food and we can't transport that oil. So the government is doing um, a high bridge uh, which will be able to be high enough and allow traffic to move. The technology being applied is piling so that um, deep uh, piles are driven into the ground so that they can support very high structure above the ground. The Kawalase River, just like many other river crossing points and drifts, often cuts off Turkana from the rest of Kenya due to ravaging floods or to the construction of modern bridge structures at all water crossing points. Kenha is finally realizing the dream of permanently connecting Turkana to the rest of the country and the region. The scope of works of this particular assignment is uh, first of all to completely rebuild and reconstruct the old road, which was uh, in a not very good condition. Another very important element is to replace all the drifts with uh, proper bridges. So this means that uh, once the road is complete, it will be all weather. There will be no more waiting for water to flow over the surface as was the case uh, before. With this new road, the region will have an improved communication network, improved access for socio-economic development, easier access to markets and a host of other new and exciting opportunities. We see the, the project being um, not just a, a project of a road, but it's a development of a corridor. By the time we are through with this, uh, we are going to see more or less the vibrance of uh, activities, of economic activities. Just like you, if you go to Lansianis today, in the other corridor, you see the different town altogether. Possibly when we finish, when we go to Rokshogyo or Kakuma, there are going to be cities that are going to be very vibrant after the road is finally done.
There is no doubt that this vital road corridor that connects this vast region to the rest of the country is bound to bring about major changes in East Africa and enable farmers and traders easily trade across our region and thereby actively promote trade and cohesion in East Africa and beyond.